Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to show you how to do split screen Minecraft on your PC. This is really fun, pretty quick, and it doesn't take a whole lot of effort. If you stick around to the end of the video, you should be able to have split screen Minecraft working on your computer. So you can have your friends over and you can all play from one computer. You don't have to have multiple systems or multiple accounts. You can do it all from one station. Also, we'll show you how to set up a PC controller so that you can actually use a controller with Minecraft along with your keyboard so that somebody can use the keyboard, somebody can use the controller, you guys can play together and have a lot of fun all from one system. So stick around, we'll see you guys in just a minute. Hello everyone and thank you for stopping by. We hope that you all are doing well today. We are Crap Fire Gamers. I'm Yo-Yo Y2K. Al Gareth here. And today we're bringing you guys something a little different than normal. Usually we bring you guys gameplay footage, but today we're actually going to be showing you how to do something that we think is very cool. And that is split screen Minecraft. So if you have some friends over, you can all play from one computer. You don't have to have multiple systems. You don't have to have multiple accounts. You can all sit down at the same computer and play together. So hope that you guys enjoy the video. If you do, please don't forget to leave a like down below. It really helps us out and we really appreciate it. And if you guys want to see more videos from us, you can check out some of the links in the description below. And you can also head over to our channel page and check out some videos there. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. And with that, Ali Gareth, you want to get us started? Let's get started. <laughs> so the first step, um, if you've never modded Minecraft, um, just finding all the resources is definitely the, the trickiest part. So we're going to put all these links in the description. To start off, this is the website with the split screen mod. And when we say split screen mod, what it's really doing is adding in the ability to use a controller with Minecraft since out of the box. It's your keyboard and your mouse. You can't have two of those connected to your computer. So uh, before you can install this mod, you, there's some prerequisites. Um, kind of the main Minecraft modding um, piece is called Forge. And depending on which version of this mod you get, you will need to get the corresponding Forge version. So for instance, uh, we have 1.7.1 here. We would go to the Forge website, uh, files.minecraftforge.net. And up here at the top left, kind of tricky, you can pull out the Minecraft versions. And you've got 1.7 here. Just click that. And then you can download the recommended version of Forge for that particular Minecraft release. And once you have that, uh, which we'll get into later, um, it'll be installed and you'll download this mod. So moving on to that piece, the download link is right here in the, in the page, the big download button. And there are some ads, so you may have to turn, on your, turn off your ad blocker momentarily to actually download the mod. Okay, I know we were looking at 1.7.1, but uh, I'm actually going to show you how to install the 1.10.2 to give you a little newer um, Minecraft version and Forge version for this tutorial. So the Windows installer is what you want to download from Forge. Be sure to get the recommended. It's a little more stable and it will appear down here as Forge and then the version. You go to your Downloads folder and then you just install it like any other program. And it'll open up here just like any other program. And in this case, you actually want to install the client and make sure your path is right. If you have, for more advanced users, if you have a different path where Minecraft is located, you would need to repoint it. And it'll copy, it'll download and copy all the files that it needs to install itself. And I've never had any trouble with it. Have you, Yo-Yo? I have not. Okay. That's good. So once you have Forge installed, 
you'll jump back to the mod website and find the appropriate version. So this one is 1.10.2. This is actually a range, which is kind of nice. 1.9.4 to 1.10.2. And you just click that download link. It'll load a bunch of nice ads, um, which is good for the developer, but bad for us. Uh, you may have to turn off your ad block to download it. And then once you have it downloaded, it'll show up as Joypad Mod and then the version. So here's for the fun part. So once that's downloaded, just do your classic cut and then we're going to take it to the Minecraft Mods folder. So a quick way I've found to get there is to just put percent app data percent and that'll take you straight to the app data roaming folder and dot minecraft and you're actually going to drop it right into this mods folder as you can see it's it's already here for me but you just right click and paste and we're three-fourths of the way there at this point and they can put other mods in there too so not just this uh joystick controller mod but other stuff like pixelmon or whatever they want yep and as you can see the the mod or the version numbers actually match up so just be sure that everything is compatible that's very important yes uh, or minecraft will just crash over and over and over <laughs> it's true okay so now we're moving on to the part where you're actually going to start minecraft and uh, there's a couple ways we can do this. Yo-Yo is going to talk about one way, and then I will talk about the other way. So what I do, because both I and my wife have Minecraft and we have different accounts, we can both log in. I can play with my profile, she can play with her profile, and we can play together on the same computer. Um, and that's what we do. You just have to have your account saved or log in and then once you do that you can just throw the different instances of Minecraft over on your screen you can put them on different monitors if you have two monitors which is what I have and it's amazing uh, you'll just you know you go down and right click on Minecraft and then start another Minecraft in order to log in with the second person and right. Elagareth what's the other way so just to expand on that a little bit you actually open one minecraft launcher log in as yourself right and you open another one right so you have basically or, you have two instances of minecraft open yep all right so now i'm going to talk about how to make different profiles if you own a single version of minecraft this will allow you to uh, have your friends play on the same computer but with just one account instead of two paid versions of minecraft so I'll show you what the uh, the end result looks like in the Minecraft launcher. So I have it launched here. We've got this little green arrow. And here's all the profiles. Here's your the standard latest release in Forge once you install it. That's what you normally use. But you've also you also have these two guest accounts. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like in the launch options, and then I'll show you what it looks like in the folder. So first here we've got guest one. And this is the important part. We've got release guest one, we've got release guest two. And that's all Minecraft cares about. We jump into Forge, you see it has the whole slew of numbers here. That's all it's looking for. So that's what it looks like in the Minecraft launcher. Now we're gonna show what it looks like over here. So we're back in the Minecraft folder. If you jump into the versions folder here, and we've got our version of Forge. All you have to do is go in here and copy out the version of Forge, the JSON file here. Go back. And for this demonstration, I'm gonna make a guest three. Make a folder, guest three. I'm gonna plop that file right here. Rename it, guest three, just for yourself <laughs> and I have a program called Notepad++, makes things a lot easier, but I'll show this in, uh, in Notepad just to be nice. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. 
just so it looks exactly the same. So I've got the text blown up a little bit here, the font size is a little bit bigger. Um, we're just worried about two attributes here. So this ID, keep these uh, quotes. So that's really important. We're gonna call it guest three. So quotes around guest three. And then the other place we're worried about is this username attribute right here. I'm gonna select all of that. Normally this would pull in your username. So in my case, Al Gareth, um, and Yo-Yo's, whatever it is. And then just change that to guest three, save. And now we have a new profile. Unfortunately, it won't load in the Minecraft launcher until I close out and go back in. So I'll go ahead and do that. game now go to launch options guess three isn't there what the heck <laughs> gotta go <laughs> gotta go to add new so we're adding a new profile and then guess three name the name name it the, name it guess three pick your version boom there it is at the bottom what? release guess three <laughs> we nailed it awesome um so yeah it, it, it's go just ahead. basically it's important that they choose the id right not the name or, or whatever yes yes so what you named it in that file that's what minecraft sees and that's what it'll show in this drop down very cool yeah um if you want to get techy with it outside of the defaults you can turn on this jvm arguments if you're running other mods, I think Pixelmon, doesn't it require two gigabytes of RAM or something? I don't even remember. But if you do have more RAM, you can change this XMX to like two or three, depending on how much memory you have. And that may help with the performance of Minecraft if it has other mods. Then you just click save and there it is. Guess three. And here it is in the drop down too. So you've got guest three there as well. Amazing. So now that we've gone through all the initial setup, now we're loaded into Minecraft here, ten or one dot ten dot two. Go to options and you can see if as long as you get this text along the bottom, the, the mod is loaded. Go to options and you've got this controls area. And now you see there's this huge, well, maybe like a third of the screen now has the options for your controller. And what so, kind of controller can they use? I believe you can use any controller. As long as it's USB or even Bluetooth? Yes. Um, by default, the mod will try to map it to an Xbox controller. Okay. So it uses this X input. And if you have multiple controllers, you would just step through here. And as you can see, it, it kind of caps it at four. You'd have to have a supercomputer to run more than four instances of Minecraft, I think. Oh, definitely. You'd have to have a lot of RAM for sure. Yeah. A ton of RAM. So it's kind of the tricky setup when it comes to multiple controllers you have to kind of test each one but a good way to test um, once you flip it to on is just kind of move the control stick around so now I'm using my controller I'm actually using a ps3 controller and that's a whole other video that we'll cover eventually oh buddy oh boy um, so yeah by default the mapping is pretty good you might have to kind of tweak a couple of the uh, the buttons. I think out of the gate, doesn't it do something weird with jump? Yeah, it's weird. It's not really intuitive. I I usually have to make it map differently because whatever it defaults to is just dumb. Yeah, but thankfully it's really really quick and easy to remap. So like, here's a for Pixelmon. I've got send out Pokemon. I could change it to write if I wanted, um, but I actually want it to be up. 
but yeah. it, it maps all of the buttons on the controller and it detects them all once you've got it all configured. Um, you might need to play with the sensitivity as well. If it's flying all over the screen, you may want to turn your sensitivity down. Uh, I think by default, it is not very sensitive at all, if I remember correctly. And you might have to turn it up. So that is it for the controller. And then lastly, one of the important things to show you guys is now that I'm dying on here, how you can actually open up your server, or not really a server, but open up your game so that other people that you're playing with, like on your computer, can actually join you as well. So what you're going to do is really simply hit escape or whatever, and then you're just going to open to LAN, just right there in the middle. If you open the world to LAN, you can enable the cheats, you can make it survival, whatever, and then you start LAN world, and then the other player can actually go in to the multiplayer list, is that right, Elagarth? That's correct. They go to the multiplayer list, and then the LAN world should be visible within that drop down, and they can join you, and you guys are now playing together, having all sorts of wonderful fun. One thing to note, um, if you are doing the single license of Minecraft with the, the local profiles, be sure that you're starting the server, the open to LAN button on the paid account. So your right. main right. account. Otherwise it will like, it, it kicks out the other players <laughs> randomly. So it gets a little funky couple extra things if you want to get get the best experience out of your Minecraft split screen. Uh, this application is called a border stripper and it actually pulls off the top border and the side borders that uh, Windows adds to a, uh, window. To a screen. Oh, Windows adds to a window, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't actually use it. I mean, you don't have to. I just say screw it but it does make it look nicer yeah it makes it look like a console split screen yeah which always irks me about the uh, Xbox and the PS3 they have built-in split screen for Minecraft but neither here nor there the other option uh, once you have the border stripped off you can't grab it <laughs> so you have to have this extra application called sizer which will automatically size the window to say you have four, it would do automatic, once you set it up, an automatic quarter of the screen for, for each window or for half, it would do the half uh, horizontal split screen for you. And I think the developer of this application has actually put in a link uh, for this. It's how to set up perfect split screen for Minecraft on your PC. And they've actually linked a couple programs that are different than these. We'll link everything in the description, but one's called WinSplit Revolution. Never used that before. And uh, Win Explorer. So those are two other options that may, might be a little easier to use than these, uh, these applications. But they're all worth checking out if you want to make it the optimal uh, experience. But they are optional. They are optional. And if you're lazy like me, then you just say screw it. <laughs> but if you want it to look good, it definitely does make it look good. Alright guys, that's it for the video. I hope that you guys have learned a lot. Hopefully you can now get split screen Minecraft to work on your PC and play with all of your friends. If you guys have found this video helpful, please don't forget to leave a like down below. It really helps us out and we really appreciate it. And if you want to see more videos from us, you can check out some of the links in the description below. You can also head over to our channel page and check out some videos there. If you guys like what you see, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. And with that, Alligator, you want to say bye? Take care, everybody. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.